Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Kim Potter, Dayton, Tennessee, when nothing is working. I have prayed the prayer of faith and seen people healed instantly. I have fasted and witnessed tremendous breakthroughs. I have laid hands on people who were sick and seen those who couldn't walk, walk again. I have confessed the word of God over a situation and seen it change before my eyes. I have received communion and received a miracle healing for myself. All these are some things that I have seen happen in my life and walk with God. That's all well and good. But what do you do when you go through a season and nothing you've done before is working? When the prayer of faith seems to hit a brick wall? Or, or maybe fasting doesn't bring that breakthrough? When you take communion day after day and see no change, what do you do in those times? Those can be very difficult and discouraging times. There's a song lyric that comes to mind as I ponder this season. Even when I can't see it, he's working. We see this truth throughout the Bible from beginning to end. He was working in the life of his people before the flood, preparing those who sought his face for deliverance. He was working in the life of Abraham to produce the promised son, even when Abraham couldn't see it and tried to make it happen himself. He was working in the life of David, when he was on the backside of the desert tending sheep, preparing him to defeat Goliath and become an anointed leader. He was working for the children of Israel, even though it appeared to continually get worse for God's people. God is working behind the scenes to make sure this enemy was defeated once and for all. Not only that, through that season, God provided enough resources to cause his people to exit the place of bondage with great wealth. Even when they couldn't see it, he was working for them. And that same truth applies to you. Even if you don't see it, he is working on your behalf. So what do we do in the meantime? We walk by faith. Hebrews 11 is filled with people who didn't realize God was working on their behalf, but he was. They saw the promise fulfilled because they continued to have faith in God through it all. I love how the Amplified Bible relates Hebrews 11. It says they were urged on, prompted by faith. Isn't that awesome? What is prompting you today? What is causing you to press forward? I can tell you what, faith in God and his word. In Hebrews 11 verse 20, it says, With eyes of faith Isaac, looking far into the future, invoked blessings upon Jacob and Esau. I love this. Many are praying and believing for their children to return to God or to find their purpose in God. Are you like Isaac, able to look far into the future, to invoke the blessings of God upon your children today? This not only applies to our children, but every aspect of our lives. We can look into the future with eyes of faith, faith in God and his word, and begin to declare blessings upon every area of our life, upon our children and our marriages, upon our finances and our health, our businesses, our homes. We can invoke these blessings upon ourselves too. Never forget that. Have you wondered lately what to do when nothing seems to work? This is what you do. You look into the future. You call those things that are not as though they already are. You invoke the blessings of the promises of God every day until faith arises in you. And you can see the promises greater than the circumstances. As you do, you become like those whose Faith is written about in the book of Hebrews, a person of faith who, without fail, sees the promises fulfilled. Hallelujah. Let's pray into this word, friend. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you are always working. You are always working behind the scenes. Holy Spirit, help us to take our hands off the wheel. Help us to declare and decree promise, faith, Lord, we've looked at the back of the book, like the old preacher says. We've looked at the back of the book and we see we win. Father, help us to pull that win into today. Help us to pull a piece of our victory in tomorrow. Help us to pull it to today. Lord, I thank you that even when nothing is working, Lord, it's only our perception. Give us a paradigm shift to know that it's our perception that nothing's working because it is. If we are rooted and grounded in Christ, if we are found and counted among the remnant, we know that all things work together for our good because we love you, Lord. 
Jesus, give, it, give us a greater revelation of that, that we can look far into the future like Isaac did, and we can invoke blessings upon our children, blessings upon our circumstances, blessings upon our churches and our nation, Lord. We thank you, Father, that you are working. You are a miracle-working God. You are a way-making God. And we say, Lord, make a way. Do what only you can do today, Father, in my life and in my friend's life. Lord, that we would live a testimony for others. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.